Quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Hiller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Hey, thanks for joining us on a Wednesday, the last day of June. My good friend Christine is in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm doing just fine. I have no idea how it's the end of June. Right? I, I kept thinking this morning, like, where was March? Yeah, the year's half over now. It I is. Know. Almost half to your birthday, right? Yeah, yep. My half birthday was a couple days ago. Oh, Which gosh. means you've only got, like, six months till Christmas, so... Yeah, think about that, quilters, six months. And you look, you match the quilt behind you. You're looking all pretty and stuff. Thank you. And what'd you do this week, anything fun? No, not really. I cut a bunch of um, English paper piecing pieces. Yes, because you're doing that now. We're I gonna am. talk about it when we get to English paper yes. piece in a couple weeks. Yes, just all the scraps. That's so fun, that's <laughs> so fun. I did a couple of UFOs, I finished a couple. They were two mm -hmm. smaller projects and I put them together to make one big thing. There you go. So I'm counting it as two being Perfect. finished. <laughs> that's all. That's how it should be. And the lovely Leslie's in the house today. Usually she's off site. We're glad she's here. And we have a new guy, Greg. He's running our camera. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> he was here yesterday. He came back. I feel like that's a good sign, right? <laughs> all right, where is everybody watching from today? We have people from Becky from Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ooh, Pat says she's watching from North Carolina, and today is her 63rd birthday. Oh, Pat, happy birthday to you. Thanks for <laughs> watching with us. Buy yourself something fun. It's your birthday. We've got another birthday. Glenna says it's her birthday in Missouri. Goodness. It's your birthday in Missouri. I love it. Monday was Taylor's birthday. Mine's on Friday. Here we go. Um, Nancy from Amarillo, Texas. Oh, here's the question of the day. Pat wants to know what's the food topic. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. You know it so well. <laughs> we'll get there. All right, we'll get there. All right, Quilters, what did you think of our user-submitted projects in our intro video? Let's take a look at a, a couple of them. First of all, okay, do we not love this, Christina? I love that. I love the green. Yes. It looks so fall and kind of summer. Yep. Makes me excited to get into cooler months again. Yes, and good job, Diane, doing those curves. Don't be scared of curves. Next up, we have this beautiful project. Okay, we see this a lot, don't we, Christina? Mm -hmm. Where you combine the storm at sea and the snail's trail block. So Nicole K did this beautiful block. And I love it because it's scrappy. Did you notice that? I it's did. like scrappy greens and yes. scrappy blues. I really want, want to make it. Okay. It's beautiful. Next, um, last week we had this Patricia W. Um, used our flamingo dye, and she was talking about how she some of that fabric is painted, but we noticed it has like rainbows in that. the background. Yeah, they're like iridescent little like holographic rainbows almost. They're so pretty. Yep. Yep, it's beautiful. And our flamingo, don't forget, we named her last week. Her name is Lulu. Yes. Pretty soon she'll be in Omaha. Okay, now... I know we show pictures, and I usually don't know who submitted them, but this is my friend Kaylee um, from Seattle, Washington. She is the AccuQuilt guru um, in Seattle at her quilt shop. And Kaylee made this. This is Storm at Sea. Guess how many uh, pieces? So many. Yeah, 4 <laughs> Thousand. <laughs> Four thousand. So if you're in the Seattle area, um, Quality Sewing has 13 locations. A uh, huge shout out to Quality Sewing. Kaylee is my good friend. She and her mom, two of my favorite people. So good job, Kaylee. It's stunning. It was for a wedding gift. Oh, I love that. I love the hearts in there for the yeah. wedding. It's perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so here is the question of the day because we're talking about cubes and companions. So the question of the day is, what is your favorite or who is your favorite sewing companion? So, Christina, is it Oscar? No, he's the worst. <laughs> he is the worst. He truly, like, steals fabric scraps. He yes. knocks down my spools of thread. Yes. He lays on my projects. It's Pearl does bobbins. Like, <sighs> she just whaps them across like hockey They're the pucks. worst. They're just so naughty. Shh. Yeah, so who is your favorite sewing companion? Honestly, probably, like, my phone to watch, like, Netflix or Hulu yes. or listen to an audiobook or something like that. Oh, audiobook. Look at you being educated mm -hmm. while you're sewing, okay? <laughs> Here's my picture of the day. Netflix, hands there you go. down. Hands down. I have got to watch something. Mm -hmm. And I typically watch reruns, right? Because yeah. then I don't have to think about what they're saying. You know, in fact, right now I'm re-watching Criminal in the Mines for like the, I don't know, 87th time. There we go. And so the other day I was watching one and I was like, oh, this is the one where this happens and this happens and oh, this is the bad guy in the end. I mean, I already knew who it was. So in the comments section, who is your sewing companion? Maybe it's your best friend. Tag him in there. Yeah, We'd tag him in the comments so that they come watch. Yeah, come watch yeah. with us. We'd love that. Okay, so who's your sewing companion? All right, 
Today is the last day of June, is the last day to order the Go Pickle Dish Dye. We have limited, we have just a few left in the warehouse, um, so you can still get one before they're gone. Now, today is all about our cube companion set. So yesterday in our Tuesday show, we talked all about the cubes and how they work together, and today is all about the companion sets. And I'm gonna show you four different projects that we made with both the corners companions and the angles. So uh, one is Crazy Kites, the next is Over and Above, Cutting Edge, and Starry Path. These are all free downloadable patterns at AccuQuilt.com. We'll make sure we post them in the comments section, right? So mm -hmm. they get those patterns, okay? Okay, Christina gets to tell us what the promo is today. Yes. So, okay, you ready? Yes, you save an extra or $30 off any purchase of $100. So that stacks. So if it's $200, then it's $60 off and so on. Okay, so for example, if you were to buy Ready, Set, Go today, mm -hmm. which sells for $449. Yep. So it'll Look be, at me knowing that. <laughs> okay, three, how much is it off? Three twenty nine is to the total price. Three twenty nine, and we'll ship it to you free. Yes, that's like one hundred and twenty off or something like that. I think so. Okay, so yes. once you yeah, you want to stack those hundreds, and then we'll just keep taking yep. thirty dollars off because it's June thirtieth. Yes. Okay. The code is thirty June. Thirty June three zero J U N E. Now one of those exclusions is the four inch cube because it is a brand new baby to our collection, but we we know you want them. Okay, so today we had the sale yesterday. We've extended it till midnight. We have a bundle, all right? It's called the Go Cubed four inch exclusive die bundle. It has the four inch cube, the four inch cube companion corners, the four inch cube companion set angles, and this great book called Go Cube Mix and Match. And it's a block pattern system. What it does, it shows you gives you patterns for all mm -hmm. six sizes of cubes. Yes. Okay, so when you purchase this exclusive die bundle, it'll cost you a 378 and some change, which means it's $120 savings. Yes. Now, Christina, you can't, this doesn't count part of the June 30. Correct. So tell us how we want to order that. You could double dip and place two separate orders. So you Don't. could place an order for that cube bundle because it's yes. already on its own special sale. Yes. And then just place another order and use that code 30 June. Yes. So Perfect. if you want to get the cube bundle, Place it now, get that order now. We're gonna ship it to you free. Yes, both There's are no over. code required, nope. it's just the bundle, okay? And then come back and do shopping and use that code June 30. Yep, and if you're in the contiguous US, it'll be over 150 bucks, so it's shipping free, like yeah. you said. Continuous US, I love it, okay? All right, today I'm gonna give away your choice of either the companion set corners or angles in the size of your choice. So Christina, what size cube would you choose? Probably the 10 inch. 10 inch, because you do love a 10 I inch cube. I do love cube. the 10. Probably the corners, I think. Corners? Yep, that would okay. be fine. Okay, so share in our pers your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Morgan's going to choose a winner, and Christina will announce it at the end of yes. our show. Okay? All right, so first of all, um, I have so many cool projects to show you, and then we're going to cut some stuff. But let's start by opening up the companion set corners and angles. And... I'm gonna start with the six inch, I'm gonna use six inch because look at how big the 12 inch is. <laughs> so much space, okay? All right, so we're gonna pull it off like this, say ta-da, pull out the skinny one. Christina, what's in the skinny one, do you know? A cutting mat. Cutting mat and a pattern book. Pull it first so that you don't break a fingernail. Yep. It's, it's crucial, <laughs> okay? All right, so we're gonna open this up and show you all of the shapes. So remember, the companion sets have four dies. The original cube have eight dies. Mm -hmm. If you have the original cube, the companion set corners and angles, how many blocks free patterns? Do you know? Oh, a lot. 216 oh free gosh. downloadable mix and match blocks. That's so many. Yeah. Okay. So those are free patterns at AccuQuilt.com. So the first shape is this shape. It is chisel shape. And I'm going to show you in just a second. Uh, Christina, what's important about chisels? Uh, they're directional. Directional. So if you want them all going the same direction, you want your fabrics facing up. If you want them different directions, you're going to fan fold your fabric. Yes. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes when we talk about the pattern. Okay, this is signature block. And I'm going to show you a super cool quote behind Christina that I've already realized I have fabric to make. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> um, this is signature block, and typically it's used like um, a neutral color. Maybe you're doing a wedding gift where you want people to write a message, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna show you a super cool pattern that we have at AccuQuilt.com um, that just makes it totally different. 
And these two shapes together make bow ties and snowballs. Okay, so there's actually a blade whoop, right here in the center. So um, sometimes they call this a uh, triangle in the, or square in the corner. Triangle okay. in the, square in the corner. There we go. And so what you would do is you cut a square and then you cut a tiny little smaller square and then you would sew it in waste fabric. So the half square triangles that go with it um, come together perfectly, right? So remember when you're getting your cubes, they have to be the same size, as, or your companions they have to be the same size as your cubes. Yes, and you need, you really need that mix and match first. You need that mix and match mm -hmm. first. So if you're getting the six inch cube mix and match today, how much is it, Christina? So the six inch cube is only one fifty nine ninety nine when you save wow. that thirty because you you save sixty technically because it's two hundred and nineteen normally right so you take two thirties off so it's one fifty nine that's one fifty nine it will ship to you free yep and the companion set is only ninety nine dollars oh so get them both yep might as well but get them both and we'll ship them to you free yeah it's kind of a buy more save more kind of thing the more it is. the more you buy the oh that's more a good way to look at it off you get yeah. Okay, so here's the companion set angles, which is the one um, I'm gonna cut with today. So I'm gonna pull it out because it has a cutting mat and a pattern book. Thanks to Joe for making sure that all of my cubes have cutting mats and pattern books. Okay. All right, and the first two shapes that are in the companion set angles are these two shapes. And they make this great shape called triangle in a square. Okay, this is, um, you could use this to, in Storm at Sea, it kind of creates that illusion of motion. Okay, these are called uh, triangle and a square sides. I call them half rectangles. So the thing to remember about our geometric shapes is they have all that quarter inch seam allowance built in. And look, we've cut off the dog ears. So from this point here to this point here is a perfect quarter inch seam. Okay, so I need this shape. The next shape is kite. Christina, have you ever made anything with the kites? No, I haven't. They're so great. They're great for stash busting. Um, if you own the four, six, and eight inch companion angles, they're perfect for charm squares. There we go. Yep. So um, we're gonna use this shape as well. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out. And then the last shape are, we talk about this all the time, trapezoids. Now, neither Leslie nor um, Christina have ever cut fabric without a die. Nope. They're both shaking their heads now because they're the smartest quilters in the room. Um, so trapezoids, I've never cut them by hand, but holy smokes, how hard would that be? Remember quilters, sometimes in our cubes there are multiple shapes on a die board. So really you wanna download and read the pattern, okay, to see how many you need, all right? All right, so I'm gonna put this back here. So those are the companions, corners and angles. And I'm gonna open up my six inch cube because I need just one little shape from it. I need shape number one. Okay, Christina, why do that? Tell us what people are sewing with. Let's see. Um, Who's their companion, sewing companions? There's so many and I love them. Um, Paula says her mom was her sewing companion. Oh, how fun. Let's see. Um, Tammy says Teddy, her six month, six month old puppy, is her sewing companion. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know how. Tammy, I don't know how you sew. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, Michelle says her quilting group. Oh, there you go. Michelle, Con who's your quilting group? We'll give them props today. Yes. Connie says songs by the Beatles on Pandora. I love oh, there that. you go. Do you listen to music ever, Christina? Not really. That's kind of what I do when I'm like working at home. But when I start sewing, then I start listening to other stuff. Yeah. And I find then I have to think about the lyrics. And sometimes they get messed up in my sewing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Christina, we're going to start with you because we're going to show you some examples of patterns that we have at AccuQuilt.com using our companion sets. Okay. So, behind us is Christina is called Over and Above. Yes. Okay, this is the one I have fat quarters at home and I'm gonna make this. So you wanna talk about it? We used our eight inch cube. Yes, so we use the shape two yes. for these guys. Am I in the right spot? Yep. Coordinating. <laughs> shape yep. two for these guys, shape 10. Yeah, which and is then, signature block. And then shape five. Shape five to make that square. So we used our eight inch cube. How big are those blocks? The blocks are 10 inches. 10 inches, right? We added on this extra little bit. Yeah, and I love the sashing in between. Mm -hmm. 
It's beautiful. Did I pass? Are those all You correct? did. You passed very well. I may or may not have notes on my whiteboard. Yes, you should. <laughs> you should. Okay. So remember, Quilter, sometimes that signature block is neutral and the half square triangles are the highlighted colors. Like if you were doing a wedding, mm -hmm. right? You would have, you know, if the wedding colors were pink and blue. Yes. That's a weird color that for weddings. That is a weird color for weddings. <laughs> what were your wedding colors? I'm not married, Pam. Leslie. <laughs> Wine, navy, and gray. So okay. you do wine and navy, and there you can go. use gray as the signature. So that's a black. that's a spectrum of like pinkish and bluish. Like the navy's darker, the wine's a deeper <laughs> reddish exactly pink. Exactly right. So that's, it's not like pastel. I feel blue like if you have a wedding gift that or a wedding quilt that has pink and blue, people people think you're already having a baby. Yeah. It's like the reveal, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But it's a great scrap busting. Okay. Now look at this quilt. This is so fun. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this up here. This is called Cutting Edge, all right? And um, Greg's gonna get a good shot right here. So look right here, quilters. Here's that chisel shape. And you need that shape number five from the mix and match cube to make it a rectangle. So here's rectangles and chisels. Now all of these chisels, I have to look, are facing the same direction. So the pro tip is, if you want all your chisels to face the same direction, you want all your fabric to face up. If you want your chisels to go opposite directions, then you can fan fold your fabric. But here's the thing I'm gonna tell you, make a test block, all right? Then you're gonna know whether or not they yes. go up or not, okay? Definitely. All right, all right, Christina, tell us one more time what our special is today, our promo. So you get $30 off for every $100 you spend. Okay, so um, so if you're getting the 12-inch cube, mm -hmm. how much is the 12-inch cube with so the discount? It's only 219. 219. Mm -hmm. We'll ship it to you free if you live in the contiguous US. Yep, you got it. Okay, I'm excited about that. And don't forget, we have that four-inch cube die bundle. Yes. Um, with the companion sets. All right, and it's I don't know 378 and some change. Save 120 dollars. We have limited stock in the four inch cubes. That's why we've waited so long for them to come mm -hmm. back. So um, once that stock is gone, it's gone. Yes, okay? definitely grab that one. I love the tiny little four inch cube. They're super cute. And I feel like the four inch cube is perfect for tiny, tiny little scraps. Yeah, the stuff that you think you can't do anything with. Right. I love yeah. that. You can cut stuff with. All right, Christina, before we talk about cutting chisels with um, a rotary cutter, mm -hmm. Tell us what people are, who are they spending their time with quilting? Um, Louise says that AccuQuilt on YouTube is hers. <laughs> Thank Patricia you, Louise. also says that, which I love. Thank you. Um, Julia says, my sister Carol, who just started quilting, and since she got her AccuQuilt system, she's going to town. She can barely keep up with her. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Good job. Good job. All right, so quilters, imagine trying to cut out chisels or signature block with a template or a rotary cutter. No way. Okay, not, uh, it just would be a nightmare. Not only would it take you so much longer, but those shapes are never gonna be perfect. Remember, AccuQuilt is fast, accurate. Every single time, you're gonna get thousands of cuts out of those dies, hundreds of cuts out of your cutting mat, okay? Now, next up is this quilt, which I also love. Um, this is called Go Starry Path. And this uses the companion set angles. Our good friend Kay England, who lives in um, Indiana and has llamas, Ooh. she made this. Okay, so let's talk right here. So this is that triangle in a square shape right here. Oh, sorry about that, Greg. It's all wonky here. And then look, trapezoids trapezoids. Oh, look at that. I know, you don't often think of it. So it kind of makes that stretch star look. Yeah. And look, it's out of Christmas fabric. I love that. I know, which you could totally make. There we go. I do I know. have Christmas fabric. Christmas fabric. I know, you could do that. Okay. All right. Now, quilters, do you know that our videos live in our Facebook and YouTube platforms? So if you need to go back and watch this um, live event or any other live event, you can. Christina said we should go back two years and watch, see how her hair has grown. Because <laughs> she truly, hasn't gotten a haircut since the pandemic no, started. I bet when we started it was like up to here and now it's we're doing pretty good. It's doing pretty good. Okay, <laughs> before we start cutting, um, let me tell you a fun fact. Do you know that the Go Serendipity Cube, um, Christina, what do you think of when you think of serendipity? What kind of shapes? I think of applique mostly. Applique shapes, but there are actually two pieced shapes in serendipity. So if you own the serendipity cube, look, there's a big string right there. Hold on, I could even <laughs> see it on the camera. Okay, 
And these two shapes together make the block Ohio star and it finishes to a five inch lock. So Christina, um, what size cube would you use with it? I have no idea. The 10, look, ten Leslie's giving you. Ten, she's giving me hints. She's giving you hints. <laughs> okay, so here is that block. Is it not stunning? That's beautiful. So right here in the center, which would normally just be solid, I made the um, Ohio star block from Serendipity and put it in my block. So it's a 15 inch block, which is super cool. Isn't that fun? Okay, I want you to know I sewed this twice wrong. Twice wrong? Twice wrong. <laughs> did you not lay out your block? I did and then Pearl was there <laughs> and then it was wrong, okay? So the Serendipity, how much is it today with that promo? Serendipity is 219. 219, I, know. I love that. Okay, let's cut some stuff. The next quilt, okay, Leslie's here and she can say it's true, okay? Is this quilt, it's huge, oh. That one's so big, I love it. It is so big, which is why it's here and not hanging behind us, okay? So this is called Go Crazy Kites. And I'm gonna hold it up big like this, okay? And it uses two different sizes of cubes. Do you know which size, Christina? Oh, we've talked about this, the eight. No, no. well, you can use the eight, the eight and, and the, the four. four. But otherwise, the six and the 12. Six there and the go. 12. Leslie's over there helping her, okay? This is a free downloadable pattern at AccuQuilt.com, and it is huge. But look, it has all these cool colors of blocks, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make one of these blocks today. And um, again, we're gonna use the six and 12 inch cubes, but you could totally use the four and eight inch cube. Mm -hmm. They just have to be twice the size. Yes. Okay? Don't forget today I'm giving away your choice of either the companion set corners or angles in the size of your choice. So you would take mm -hmm. corners? I would probably take corners. Yeah, and then just to angles, they're 99 bucks. Yeah, just, you could get them on sale today. Whichever yeah. one you don't win, like, or whichever yeah. one you don't pick, you, could, you can just buy on sale. Yeah. So be sure to share a video on your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making the kite units from the six inch cube, okay? Now, free pattern download at AccuQuilt.com. Holy smokes, you wanna do that. Because in your quilting head, you're gonna think, oh, I know how to make this. The answer is no, you do not, no. okay? Today I'm gonna use my Go fabric cutter. It's part of the Ready, Set, Go. Christina, how much is it with our discount today? Ready, Set, Go is $3.29. 329. I know. Okay, so I need these two shapes to start with. So this is the kite shape and those half rectangles. Uh, these two shapes are on a six by six die board, so it will fit through any of our Go cutters, including the Go Me. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you own the Go Me, you can use the four, six, eight, and nine inch yeah, cubes, right? Which is great. Yep. All right. And if you had a Go Big, you could run two of these together in one pass. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to, um, I need to cut, uh, go to, will you scroll down for me, Justin, so I can read, yep. Um, shape from the six inch cube. So I'm gonna start here with shape number one, okay? Look, I have all my pieces whole. When I was making this at home, there had to be quiet. <laughs> okay, hold on here, I'm gonna just lay out some of my pieces. Some people were saying they need, when they need to concentrate, they listen to like classical music with like no music or with no lyrics. Yeah. So they don't get confused. I had a roommate in college. Oh my word. She listened to static. Static? Like white noise? Yeah. White noise. Oh. About sent me over the edge. I have to listen to white noise like when I sleep, but. Like when you sleep really? Yeah. yeah if it's quiet, I will not sleep. Oh. I hear every little noise and think someone's in my house and. Really? Yeah. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> okay, hold on here. Um, I'm gonna set these out here so I know what I'm doing. Why I'm laying these out here, Christina, tell us what people are, who they're quilting with. Oh gosh, Holly said that she listens to Audible and her cat sleeps on the edge of the unfinished quilt. That sounds like a well-behaved cat. I don't know that what that's like. That is not our cat. Uh -uh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, we did have someone say, Mary Ann said that her wedding colors were pink and blue. See? Her maid of honor wore pink, the bridesmaids and groomsmen wore pastel blue tuxedos. There you go. See, we knew somebody would have that. How fun. She said 47 years ago, it didn't feel like an oddity. <laughs> okay, there you go. 
All right, so I've already started to make some of my pieces, but I'm gonna show you how to cut them out. All right, so we're gonna cut the um, kite shapes out of yellow, and we're gonna cut the um, half rectangles out of black, okay? So I want you to make sure you have that lengthwise grain going as you're cutting. So what I've done is I've just fan folded my fabric and look right here, nice and tight, that's that lengthwise grain. All right, and we're just gonna lay it on top. Christina, how many layers can I cut? Six. Six. Just gonna cut a few today. Well, I'm gonna cut four. That's how many I need. Okay, and Christina, while I'm doing this, will you tell us what our, our promo is today with June 30? Yes, use the code June 30 to take $30 off every $100 you spend. Excellent. Yes, so everything's on super sale that way. Sometimes when I'm sewing, Mason will come downstairs and he'll say, this is quite the mess. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, give it a little love. It is so staticky in here. Okay, and slide that mat down left. Look how cute those are. Okay, and then I need two, four, six, eight. Oh, look at me doing math. Okay, there are two on the die board. So I'm just gonna fan fold back and forth. I'm not gonna sew them all. I'll do four layers. Okay. And there we go. Oh, Ooh. Judy says it's her first time watching, and thanks to her friend Jean for reminding her. Hi, Judy, and thank you, Jean. Judy, tell us what you're thinking about it so far. What can we do better? <laughs> Usually we talk about food. Yeah. I'm surprised no one has said their companion is like Diet Pepsi. I know, I haven't seen oh, any Oh, Joe, you're going to be mad at me, aren't you? Look at that, that yellow, how it should have done pink. Darn it. See, look how it goes into my green mat. He's already mad because these are not Nebraska colors. These are like <laughs> Iowa colors. <laughs> okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We'll put it on our gray mat. That will redeem me a bit. Oh, Darlene says her quilting buddy is her husband. He sits at the table and they talk and have coffee. Oh, my gosh. I love that. I can redeem myself a little here. Okay. There, that's better. Whew. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little kite shapes and I'm going to add the sides, okay? So perfect for chain piecing. Let me take off my shoe. But they're sandals, so they work great. Okay? So I'm going to just lay half here on this side, half here on this side. See how I did that? And I'm just going to do a few of them so you can see how they work, all right? So, Christina, while we're doing that, don't forget one last time, let's talk about our promo code. Yes, 30 June. 30 June. 30 June. Yep. And if you want to get that four inch cube, today is the great day to do that. Mm -hmm. It's already on sale. So, it's not included in the 30 June, but it's on its right. own super sale already. Right. So, just do your two orders. Get that and then come back and do June 30. Okay, so I'm just going to chain piece a few of these and show you how they sit together. I'll just do two. Okay. And I'm going to tell you when I was doing this, truly, truly, um, I, I truly did just chain piece. You know, so while you're doing all the half rectangles. Okay. And while I do this, I'm going to add the other side. So when you get to this part, before you add the other side, you want to press your seams open. Hey, we have shovel irons and wool mats on our website. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, we're, we're the one-stop shop these days. Truly. We have all you so need many... is fabric, and then we all know you already have fabric. Yes, we all know you do. Ooh, Victoria says she has a handful of mini chocolates in her sewing room. Oh, see, there now we're come. talking about who you quilt with. <laughs> okay. So look how fun that was. Now I'm just going to do the other side. Okay. Do you snack while you sew, Christina? Not really. I'm always afraid I'm going to spill. I'm yeah, pretty, me too. I'm pretty clumsy. <laughs> yeah, and I truly never, like, drink soda while I'm quilting for that same reason. I think, oh, man, I'd knock over a Diet Pepsi and... I'd have a real mess. Oh, we've got a great question from Judy. Hi, Judy. She says she's new to this. 
Hi, Judy. And she says, don't you waste fabric as opposed to a rotary cutter and ruler? So would you need to buy extra fabric? So if you follow the pattern at AccuQuilt.com, it has the perfect fabric requirements. And I know you think that, Judy, but we just measured from here to here, right? And just fan folded back and forth. So if you were to cut this with a rotary cutter, you would have to cut a rectangle bigger, mm -hmm. cut it, oh, let me think about that. Cut it in half, cut the dog ears off? I, I don't, don't even know. know. I don't know. But so, you, I think it's also a misconception that you don't need to cover the entire die with fabric. You right. just, like you said, you just measure that quarter of an inch on each side. Right, so like I didn't use my big square here. When I lay my fabric down, I'm just gonna cover this shape. Mm -hmm. It's only gonna cut where there's dye in a mat, so even though look at all this that's left, right? All that's left, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna cut in the cutter. So really, I'm saving fabric that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're saving because you won't make potential mistakes that you would with like a rotary cutter or ruler. Right. Which is Yeah, right. I can't imagine cutting a kite with a rotary mm. cutter. 90% faster, right, than rotary cutters or scissors. And to me, truly, that is one of the huge advantages, is the time factor. Yes. Okay. Ooh, Connie says her emergency chocolates are stored in the attachment drawer of her sewing machine. I'm glad you have emergency chocolate. I love that. Break if needed. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carol wants to know if you need to pin the pieces while you're sewing. Okay, if Erica was here, what would Erica say? Erica would say always pin. Always pin. I'm going to tell you no, because look. I'm gonna show you real quick here. We'll get a nice good close up with our good friend Greg. Okay, hang on here. So can you see right here, Greg? So look, we cut off the dog ears. So this piece lined up here and this piece lined up here perfectly. Okay, so now I'm gonna press it open and we're gonna sew them together. Okay, all right. Do you have big plans for the 4th of July, Christina? Um, we're going to go see Tim's family. We're going to go to their cabin up in Yankton, South Dakota. Yankton, South Dakota. I've been mm -hmm. there. They've got a lovely pontoon boat that we're just going to oh, lounge on all day. That sounds divine. And I'm not going to get sunburned like I did last year. I know. Last year you got totally sunburned. I know. My legs were all patchy and stripy. Yeah, for and a long time. So long. <laughs> for a long time. No, we're doing all the sunscreen. Excellent. Okay, so now, look, here's the first side, okay? So let me show you, I'm gonna sew this together, and then um, we're gonna do the same thing with the big pieces from our 12 inch cube, okay? All right, and then this is a shape number one from the 12 inch cube. So it's gonna finish at a six inch square, which is why you need two sizes of cubes because this is shape one from the six inch cube, which is a three inch square finished, and this is a six inch square finished. Okay, next time, Joe, I'll do pink, okay, <laughs> or something fun. I was thinking, oh, yellow, it'll be so bright and pretty. Okay, so now these pieces, look, I'm just gonna match them right up, and they're gonna sew together just beautifully. I didn't have to trim my dog ears. I didn't have to do anything. I love it when I don't have to do stuff like that. All right, what, who else is, what are everybody watching with? Who are they watching with? Let's see, I've seen quite a few people say um, like they're animals, which just kind of blows my mind a little bit. They do not live with Pearl and Oscar. <laughs> Pearl has taken up, okay, so it's been so hot here in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay, look at this, Greg. So see how that lined up perfectly? Look. There we go, look at that. Ta-da, ta-da, okay. So I'm just gonna press it so it just lays flat like that. Ooh, Karen says, how do you know when to press open versus to the side? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you when you get so many seams like this, you wanna press open. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm doing like rows of squares or rectangles, I'm gonna press to one side so they nest. But this one for sure, I'm gonna press open. And some of you are saying, oh Pam, that didn't work right. But see right here, this top right here, we'll get it again, Greg. That's that quarter inch seam. Yep, so that'll be all tucked under. Tucked in, tucked in. Okay, so then you're gonna create this row, okay? And then you're gonna do the exact same thing. Here, I'm gonna move this. 
Ooh, I'm gonna move this, because it's hot. Okay, look at this, you can just move your go. Okay. All right, so what you're gonna do is then you're gonna create this um, other section over here, right? And then you're gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, I'm gonna just do one side so you can see. Okay. Oh, here, see, look, I gotta watch. Turn the page. <laughs> there we go. Okay, look at how cool this is. I love this pattern. This is such a cool block. Look at how cool this block is. I know, I love it, okay? And then this would make the last row. So let me talk real quick um, here about this corner. Before I do, let's talk. Join Lynn and Erica on Tuesday, July 6th at 12 noon Central Time. They're gonna launch our newest dye to try. Do you know what it is, Christina? I do. It's gonna be a grand slam. Yep. I can say that. I know what it is, I'm leaving town, okay? <laughs> All right, we're going to have a special guest because I'm going to go celebrate my birthday. Um, Kelly Ashton is joining us live in the studio. Kelly joined us a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. right, on a, a Tuesday? Yeah, she's, she's been on a couple of the Tuesday shows. She's all about y scenes. Yes. Yeah, she's the y scene guru. So, But um, they're going to launch the newest dye to try. Be sure and register in the link below. What do they want to register? Because that's how we pick our winners. So is... all the people that register, all those emails go into a big random pool, and then that's how we pick them out. Yeah. Yeah, so be sure and win. we give away stuff, okay? Now the corner block, this little block right here looks super tricky, okay? But it's not. Again, really good way is just lay out your pieces, <laughs> all right? So Christina, what did you say? You said something really clever about this, that corner block. It looked oh. tricky. You know, I just wouldn't ever anticipate move, like laying out the kites like that. Right. Um, I would either have them all like pointing in or out, but I love that this is just kind of an unconventional way. Like it works beautifully, but it's so not what I would do. Right. So I love the difference of it. Yeah. And so you need three of those kite shapes and then six of those um, half rectangles. And then this is shape number one from the six inch cube. And then that's gonna fit right here in the corner, okay? So here, let me let me make it up again here. Hold on one sec. Oh, Gerald says sometimes her cat sits on top of the machine. That cannot happen. They do not live in our world. <laughs> How does that happen? Pearl cries, Pearl cries if I don't let her in. Someone she, earlier said that their animal, I don't know if it was a cat or a dog or a toucan, but that they grabbed like the toucan. electrical cords and their yes. pins. Yes. Like that sounds like what an animal <sighs> would do in my sewing room. Yeah. Yeah, Pearl, so lately I've been going downstairs to, because it's been so hot, I go downstairs to get on Zoom calls and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the minute I sit in our big comfy chair, Pearl has a tendency to come. I know, she's been on the, all these Zoom calls <laughs> and she's mouthy. She's like, rawr, rawr. I was like oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, cool Jews, do you know that we have a blog? Our blog is a place to find inspiration, tutorials, patterns, sewing tips, and more. Ways to use and love our fabric cutter and dyes. Uh, you can meet our go-getters. Christina, what are our go-getters? So there are influencers. So mm -hmm. they take our product and show people how to use it, how to make um, exclusive patterns and projects that are on the blog. Right. All kinds of stuff. There's beautiful lists that people write, like yes. top 10 patterns for a weekend or something like that. It's just amazing. And sign up for the blog and then you get notification, right, when it goes yes. live? Yep. Okay. All right. So you would follow the pattern to create these double kite units. So exactly like we did before. Um, this is from the 12 inch cube. Okay. Okay. And then you would sew the rows together and look how big this block is. So six and six, six, 24 inches. Math. I can do that math. Look at me on the fly. <laughs> All right, last time, Christina, will you tell us what our promo is today? Yes, $30 off for every $100 you spend. So okay. something like that 12 inch cube is normally 279, it's only 219. So what if you got the 12 inch cube and the companion angles? Cause that's what you'd need yes, for this. Yes, you would have, gosh, you'd have over $300, yes. almost 400. So then you'd take 120 off. So yes. it's kind of the more you spend, the more you save. Excellent. And don't forget um, that four inch cube bundle, which yes. uh, today, um, today's the last time we're going to offer it as a bundle. We had such limited quantities that we can't really just, you know, throw that out there. So today, if you're looking to do it, so with this one, remember, ta-da, 
This finished block. Oh, thank you, Justin. <laughs> um, this one was made with the six inch cube and the 12 inch cube. It has to be cubes that are twice the size. Mm -hmm. But I at home am making one using the four inch cube and the eight inch cube because truly this one is gigantic. It's a huge quilt. Gigantic. Whereas this one is going to be a little bit smaller. So those are the two combinations. So today, if you're thinking, gosh, I'd really like to make this, get that four inch cube bundle. All right. All right, join Lynn and Erica on Tuesday, July 6th at 12 noon Central Time. They're going to launch our newest die to try. I will be off celebrating a birthday on Friday. Um, actually, today at 5 is when I start. There you go. Uh, Kelly Ashton is going to join us in the studio. Is Kelly one of our go-getters? No. Nope, she's just our good friend. Be she's sure just our YCM expert. She is our YCM expert. Be sure and register in the link below. How come, Christina? Because that's how you win. That's how you win. All right, I hope all of you shared before we announce yes. the winner. Tell us what other people were companioning with. Yeah, I see so many pets. I see pets. Um, how do they companion with I pets? I know. I see pets. I see like Hulu and Netflix, like we do, yeah. or like audiobooks. Yeah, yeah. Nobody said like pizza and stuff. Cause I saw uh, Twizzlers. Twizzlers. <laughs> there you go. All right, Christina, do we have a winner? We sure do. All right, let's announce our winner. All right, our winner today is... We have a drum roll and everything yet. Madeline Diaz from New Jersey. Madeline Diaz, congratulations. Okay, Madeline, I'm really excited to hear what size companion set you're going to order and cubes or, or companions yep. or corners. Yes, Morgan will reach out. Morgan is going to reach out to you. Morgan's off site today. Okay, next week I am gonna be celebrating my happy birthday. So I, the lovely Erica will be here. Lovely Erica, what are you doing here? The lovely Erica is here right now. <laughs> Look at this, oh my gosh. Look, so, there's food and there's balloons. There's food because it's a oh Wednesday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> because what would I bring you other than food on a Wednesday? Thank you, sweetie. Happy Aww, birthday. Thank you, that is so fun. <laughs> so we're gonna she just said to me yesterday, she's like, see ya. I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> How fun is that? Because okay. it's a big birthday. It is a big birthday. Eric and I will be soon the same age. Yes. She's much older than I am until Three Friday. Weeks. <laughs> Three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> Three That's weeks. Right. Okay, tell everybody, what are you going to show us next week? I am going to show you Mariner's Compass. Yeah, which in your quilting head you think is really complicated. But you know what? It's not. If you can sew a quarter inch seam, I'm going to show you just how to do it. Yep, it'll be great. All right, and a huge shout out to our entire team upstairs. We have Nick and we have Morgan offsite. Leslie's in the house because there's cupcakes. And there's Good pizza choice. outside, Are you too. serious? Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and cheese bread because I was in charge. There you go. And <laughs> Justin's here and Joe and Greg, welcome to our team. Leslie, the, my good friend Erica and Christina, I'm Pam Heller reminding you that at AccuQuote we help you cut time so you can quote more. Hey, have a great weekend. Enjoy the 4th of July and celebrate my birthday on Friday. Happy birthday, Pam. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>